Hello there, welcome back to Trinity Stamps. I'm super excited to be sharing with you the terrific Terrazio stencil set new from the Enchanted Woods collection at Trinity Stamps. This is a three piece stencil set. Each piece measures nine by six inches and they layer together to create an amazing background. You may have seen this style before in flooring or countertops. It's made using concrete and bits and pieces of marble. You can see what it looks like as a sample on the back of your packaging. Next, I want to show you that each stencil is labeled A, B, and C. It doesn't matter exactly what order you use them in, but it is helpful to keep track of which stencil you've already used. The stencil A has the least openings, B has a little more, and C has the most openings on it. I'm starting with stencil A. I've taped it to the back of a piece of cardstock that measures eight and a half by five and a half. And then I'm going to use three different colors of ink and stencil over this using a blending brush. I'm using a light green first, and you can see what just one stenciling with stencil stencil A looks like right here. And then I'm trying to line up stencil B um, because when you layer these, when the stencils are lined up, none of the images should overlap. But if they touch a little bit, it's not that big of a deal. It's not a stencil you have to line up perfectly. So for stencil B, I'm using a darker green, and here you can see what it looks like with the two layers. For the third layer and stencil C, I'm using a teal color and putting that on with the stencil that has the most openings. Here you can see what it looks like, all done with all three layers on white cardstock. Next, I'm going to use a very, very light gray cardstock and I'm using pastes this time. I'm gonna use paste on all three layers, but you could also do it with just one layer for a little extra something special. So here's what it looks like with this gold paste. So cool. This has to be my favorite way to use these stencils. I let that dry and then I am now using the corner of the stencil to line up my eight and a half by five and a half inch piece of cardstock and then taping it in the bottom two corners. This is going to allow me to line it up easier the next time I put on a stencil, which is stencil B that I did here with some green paste and it is really coming together and really looking like the flooring and the countertop that I see in my mind when I think of this style. For stencil C, I am doing some blue paste, just spreading that on and then, oh my goodness, it looks so amazing with all three layers done with paste. Here you can see the inked panel all done next to the panel done with the pastes. So lots of fun you can have with these new stencils and create some amazing backgrounds. I used my inked panel here on this card and threw in some ferns and fairies and sentiments also from this Enchanted Woods release. Now let's take a look at some samples made by our design team with this terrific Terrazio stencil set. I love this tone on tone look for a subtle background with that new unicorn. This one has the school colors done with the graduation die set. I love this one is soft and subtle and pretty for Mother's Day. And wow, look at this one done with paste. So the background just has a look of glow to it. I hope you enjoyed this video and got a little inspiration too. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you all again very soon on the next video. Bye!